this guy? He's like... Yo, that party was lit. Dude, where have you been? You're like three hours late. Yo, yo, I'm here now, right? So stop wasting time and just hand me the script. Oh shit, is this a new video? Exposing a YouTuber that changed because of fame. I can work with this. I can. Oof. Is it on? Hey guys, it's me again, and um, I actually just came home from a party. Uh, it was really fun. I wish you could have been there, but you weren't, so you missed out, you know, a ton. But anyways, uh, today. Uh, we'll be talking about um, this YouTuber, alright? He recently blew up on YouTube. He used to be a nobody, random ass guy, nobody at all. Made some entertaining content, gained a lot of subscribers, and now he just switched up completely. He basically went Hollywood, like, he thinks he's cool. I don't know, man. He literally switched up on his fans, forgot where he came from. Literally, all he does now is just, uh, all he does now is just collaborate with, like, these hot girls, and he just clickbait. Wait, bro, wait, is this about me? Oh. Oh, nah, why would I do that? Dude, I just keep going, come on. Alright. He also is a liar. He told his viewers he's gonna post seven videos in seven days and he never does it. He also promised a diss track on PewDiePie. Alright, what the fuck, dude? It's about me. Alright, fine. Dude, you caught me. I guess it's about you, alright? Dude, why would you do that? I thought we were cool. I don't know, man. You're just not the old you anymore. And you, like, never bring me to those parties. Dude, you know how it is, man. You need a certain amount of followers to get into these parties. But, like, I don't know, man. You're, like, always talking. And you kind of embarrass me, kind of. And, and you're annoying sometimes. And, and you always wear that same shirt. That's it, man. I'm sick of it, dude. You changed. You literally changed. Are we still gonna finish? Alright, fine, I don't even need you! Is it on? Yeah, man, I can do it all by myself. I don't need this guy. Alright, so, uh, where was I? But yeah, man, I guess, I guess he did change a little bit, you know what I mean? And, and I guess he does party a lot, but I mean, he still loves his fans, you know what I mean? And I miss the old rice gum, set on his goals, rice gum. And now it's sad to think that I don't really know rice gum. I hate the new rice gum, the I'm too cool rice gum. I liked it better back when they were asking who's rice gum. You used to diss up on these people, now you let them get away with it. Going out to parties in LA, you never take me with. Same ones that you diss, the same ones that you're hanging with. Don't know what to do, so you do Q&As with famous chicks. Now you think you cool because you're hanging out with models. If you love your fans, then you would hit them with a fire. I don't know what happened, man. I thought that we was up next. Now you wearing girl clothes, got you looking suspect. Said you wouldn't change, not even for the fame. But now you're not the same. You turn into a lame. You paid 400 for a dumbass flannel. Pick it up before I hack your dumbass channel. But yeah guys, it's gonna wrap it up and the reason why I made this video is because I want to let you guys know that it doesn't matter how big I get it, like, it doesn't matter bro. I will still read every comment I will take your criticism and I will use it to my advantage and a lot of the comments I've been getting is rice gum you change You're not the same old you anymore fame change you like a lot of those and It doesn't make any sense at all because I literally just dropped a couple roast vids That was like kind of like my old stuff like you know, it's it's the same me and so and like two weeks ago I was getting comments it's like race gum try some new stuff this is getting old so that's kind of what I did you know my past two Q&A vids I was trying to be creative trying to do some more stuff because in my mind I'm like I want to do YouTube as long as possible and 10 years from now if I drop a roast video every single you know day it's gonna get boring after 10 years right so if I space it out it's gonna keep stuff very fresh and new shut the fuck up listen if this video gets 500,000 likes all right I'm taking over. It's my channel now. Imagine me just here every day. Hey guys, it's me again. And Rice Gum is behind the camera. It's my time to shine. 500,000 likes. Let's do it. Okay, perfect, man. Since all the fake people left, because only the real viewers stay till the end, I want to let you guys know something, man. You know how Afro Gum said, If you love your fans, then you would hit them with a follow. 
Well, starting now, I will be following back people on my Twitter. So here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to tweet something right now. I'm going to say new video because I haven't dropped it yet. And if you ever retweet my stuff, right, if you if you always retweet my stuff, I'm going to end up following you guys. All right, why? why? Okay, here we go. I'm going to just follow people that retweet my stuff, man. Like, I really appreciate all the support. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I'm going to be following people that just retweet my stuff, you know what I mean? Because they're just doing it for fun. Like, they really support me. I didn't even tell anyone that I'm going to follow them, and, and, but they're just doing it. So I really appreciate the support. People are the best. But, yeah, so starting now, if you retweet my stuff, I will follow you back. Oh, yeah, and if you use Twitter and you don't know how it works, uh, if you go over here and click on the scrolly thing and then click on turn on notifications, you will literally get every notification every time I tweet something. So you can be the first one to retweet and get a follow. But, yeah, guys, sorry if I haven't followed you already. Uh, I will eventually. Eventually, I promise. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.